Hello, welcome to Yorkshire Man Models. Today I'm building the Messerschmitt 109G6. As you can see here, I'm just unboxing it so that I can get all my sprues prepared. And what I'll do is I will build it but speed up the footage, but uh, important parts I'll slow down the footage and we'll chat about what, what I'm doing. Initially, it's going to be the uh, pilot painting and stuff like that. Right, let's speed up this and then you can see me building the model. See you in a bit. Here I'm just adding a little bit of perfect plastic putty just to the points where I've cut the actual uh, parts off of the sprue. There's been a little indentation. Now that could be me or I've cut them off, but it seems to have happened on quite a few, so it most likely is. But this is a water-soluble so stuff, so once you put it on, it starts to dry a little bit you can just brush it off with water any excess and then you can sand off pretty easily once it's fully dry I won't say it's the most perfect putty but it's not a bad one
prime in the model now a Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500 grey. It's a very smelly paint, so make sure if you use it, your room's well ventilated and you're wearing a mask, and preferably using a proper spay bulb, not like me. I have got a mask on, windows are open and doors open, but even then I can still smell it. I am now painting the underside and I'll be partly down the side of it as well with Ammo Acrylic Colours RLM 76 Pale Grey. This time it's ammo again, RLM 71, Dunkel Grun. Sorry for the mispronunciation. I have lost some footage, so this isn't me just finishing it off. And then I'll mas start masking taping it up. Right, we've put our Tammy our masking tape on. So now we're spraying acryl ammo acrylic colours, green slate, RLM02. Right, I've masked up the rear so I can spray Tammy RY just on the back tail section as it shows you on the instructions. This is the last of my Tammy RY I've got on this bottle and it's becoming a little bit bitty so it spits some, uh, bigger particles sometimes so I'm not very happy with it. I'm going to have to get a new bottle.
I used my point two needle airbrush there in it to get the little camo dots. I'm not very impressed with it. I think they're too big, but that is probably me. But there's the camo, as it shows you. That's about as good as I can get as I've done it, and I don't think it's that far off. to the bit I've been looking forward to this time for decals I use in Mr. Mart Setter and Mr. Mart Softer this is the first time I've used those so I'm quite happy to see what they're going to end up looking like I have watched a few videos on how to use this product and they say you just paint a little bit of softener on there but setter not softener it's setter first and you just apply it to where you want it to go with a brush that comes with it it's a bit like Tammy eyes brush probably like a bit bigger and then you get your decal that you've soaked already in water and then you just apply that over the top of the setter at this point I realised these decals they're not going on properly they, they just seem way 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 too big and as you watch you'll see that as time goes on I realised they're not matching up with the decal instructions where it shows you for your paint and where you put your decals uh, in the end I end up having to push these further out so that they'd fit to where they were supposed to and s later on you'll also notice I had to cut some decals down because they were just too big and we're not talking a tiny amount we're talking 20-30% too big some of them but I did work with it and I have managed to do it but you'll see later on it still looks alright, it looks well. This is where I realised I've not done the yellow on the underside, so I'm having to now ramp in this in. It's actually better than what I thought at the end of it, because yellow's not the greatest colour to paint. It's a bit light white, it's a bit pale, but it does look alright.
you'll be able to see here how much the actual decals are out you can see this is decal number six and it's going on that little tiny bit that's sticking out of wing right. there's number six and there's the piece that's going to stick out of wing now look at the wing and look at the size of the decal it's nearly twice size I don't know so what I've had to do is to cut the decal in half as you can see just there it's pulled apart and I've put one half there and then the other half just sits over it so it fits into the place it's meant to go this is poor to say that these decals are new decals for it on a jumbo steam done for it and it's look at it rubbish
Right, she's done. Uh, it looks a very nice kit. It's a shame about the decals because the, the kit went together very easily. But if it's as old as what they claim, I can understand it going together easy because they were never designed to be hard. But the decals to say that there are recently been done for it as it claims on the box. Nah, not impressed with them at all. But I have made it work. You can see the some of them are slightly too large to be honest, but these ones here I had to cut down at each end so you kept that little bit slightly in the middle still. I've only done a little tiny bit of weathering and that would have been with me AK weathering pencils. So there you go. And I just did it just to do a little bit of variance on it. But yeah, um I don't know if it's worth the money, but then again I'm not doing this as a review. So that's up to individuals to decide. There is a little tiny, I don't think you can see it, but there's a little tiny chip missing out on that canopy in that corner. But it's virtually invisible now. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed building it, but very easily. The decals which I thought I was going to enjoy the most turned out to be probably the biggest pain. The camo doing it, enjoyed that because uh, it was very different, especially the way you've got your yellow and your, your different colours all about, as it shows. But, it's another one to collection. I hope you enjoyed watching me build it. And I hope you'll enjoy my next one I do. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and like me videos. It helps me a lot. Motivates me to do more. Catch you later. Cheers. Bye.